Hey everyone, today we'll be learning how to code. Uh, this is a new series I'm going to be starting and the goal is basically just to introduce coding to people who have no idea how to code, but also have fun making games at the same time. So our first lesson is going to be super simple and just learning how to start a project and also learning the if statement. So at first, we're just going to uh, create a good old project. Hopefully you guys know how to do that. You just make a folder, create the project. And we're going to use a user interface. So the first thing we'll have is control. We'll save it into our first file and say main menu. And then all we're going to do is add a label. And what a label is, is just a piece of text. So if I go into the label, you'll see text on this on the bottom or top right, sorry. And we can just say Hi there, in all caps. And you can see it right there. Uh, the text is very small, so what I'll do is increase JK. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Or actually, we can increase the size right here. So four and four. So it's a lot bigger, but it's kind of blurry, but that's fine. And if we run the project, it just, just say hi there. Uh, I wonder, yeah. All right, so next thing we'll do is we'll add a script to the label. Uh, you can choose to have it built in or not. Uh, this In this case, it won't matter, but for me, I'll just leave it out. Um, and before we go into functions, we'll just look at the function ready. Uh, ready, basically, we'll just run one one time every time the scene is essentially ready. So when I play, it will just become ready. And there you go. Uh, it gave me a parse error because I have nothing here. But if I were to say print high on ready, it will only print one time on high. However, if I were to reload the scene, obviously, it would say hi again. Uh, so what we're going to do for the if statement is we're just going to say if um, int, let's make an integer or a variable. So I say variable equals variable high equals zero. And so we're going to check if, if high is equal to zero, we're going to change the text of our label text equal to hi there. My name is John. And basically what this is doing is checking if hi, which is a variable that we set, is equal to zero. And if it is, then we do this thing that's inside of it. And basically what this does is set the self, which is the label, the text dot text, so the text up here, equal to this. So whenever you put uh, these little guys or these guys, uh, it'll set it into a string. And a string is basically just text. And if I were to try to set it to like a number, like zero, uh, that should not work yeah. because the text can only take in string. So we'll put in the string. Hi there, my name is John. And another thing we can do is looking at else statements. So if uh, high is not equal to zero, then we can do something if it's not equal to zero. And in this case, we'll make it equal to or either my name is not John. John. And this will basically run hi there, my name is John. I can move this to the side a little bit so we can see it. And now if we take this and set it to one and reload, it'll say, by there, my name is not John. Another thing we can do is also look for multiple things at once in the same statement. So essentially what it is, is it'll look for if high is equal to a zero. Uh, if it's not, it'll go to the elif statement. So else if essentially. Uh, in most other languages, it might be else if. Uh, in G, in this one, GDScript, it'll be LF. Uh, I, I believe Python is also LF. 
Um, it just depends on the language, which you'll have to just look at depending on what you're working with. So in this case, we'll just look at if it's equal to one. And if it's equal to one, we'll say, hi there, my name is John, I is equal to one. Uh, and what I'll do, oops, I'm actually going to set this to auto wrap, put it in the center so that way we can see it. Hi there, my name is John and hi is equal to one. So we set hi to equal to one. We can, we can go through that entire code. So it's, if hi is equal to zero, we print it, where we set the text to this, which is not. So we go to the next line. If hi is equal to one, then we do this, which it was, so that's what happened. And else is something completely different. So let's say we set it to four, and therefore we should get the bottom. All right, that's it on if statements. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments section. I will answer them as fast as I can. Thanks.